For this video review, we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Classified Series Tiger Force Recondo. So right out of packaging for your reference with regards to completeness of your product purchase. So we have the action figure, backpack, head cover, rifle, pistol, and machete. So here is how the figure looks without any of the accessories attached to it. So here is a close-up of the upper half of the action figure. So from the head to the torso of the figure. So we could really take a look at the details because majority of the details is going to be in this portion. So this is the details on the head unit or the head sculpt. And when you take a look at your copies, if there are several on pegs, just check out or watch out for paint on the eyebrows and paint on the mustache. Because those are the areas where some of the paint is going to be missing. So for the chest rig, we have a full wraparound system for the pistol retention system. So those are the details on the pistol belt. So we have three magazine pouches for the pistol. We have a miscellaneous pouch on the right side. We have another possible miscellaneous pouch on this side that could possibly hold on to a medical kit. And that is a compass. So we have a wristwatch on the left hand of the action figure, left forearm I mean. And we have ammunition pouches for the rifle. So with regards to details on the pants of the action figure. So far the copies that I checked on majority of the copies would suffer in this section so paint would sometimes be really missing as with the copy that i have on hand right now for review i also have that missing paint on this area that line but actually it's really okay so if you have yellow paint on board you could just retouch that area so with regards to the boot, so that is the detail on the boot. We have gaiters, two colored gaiter for the boot. So it's a mixture of brown and green. So I know that that is a gaiter system for the boot because we have the gaiter straps. So that is also this is also the other detail for the other at the for the right foot. I mean. So overall, I'm really pleased with how this action figure looks. Just the basic action figure. Okay, so let's check out the accessories for Ricondo. So really nice accessory set. Just right for the action figure. So let's start with the biggest chunk of plastic, which is going to be the backpack. So take a look at the texture of the backpack and we also have texture on the folded mat or sleeping bag so let's take a look at the bush head cover and let's take a look at the rifle so the mini 14 a good weapon system mini 14 chambered in 556 if i were to have a wrap on this rifle it's just it's not going to be just on these two portions it's going to be on the whole thing <laughs> so it's going to be really nice to hold on to so we also have a wrap on the pistol grip. So we have the rear side, front side, and that humongous muzzle brake. And we have still 
a hole on the muzzle device for attachment of accessories so if you have those firing effects from valvers this would fit the rifle and the magazine is also detachable the 20 round mag we have a sig p320 and just like the mini 14 this p320 has that hole on the pistol wherein you could still attach valvers accessory how uh, fighting accessories so i mean which we're going to test in this video so fine looking design on the sig p320 my own personal carry the compact version let's take a look at the machete so we have a cut on this side of the holder which would allow for the slipping in of this bulbous area of the blade. We also have pouches on the side of the carrier that could possibly carry honing stones or sharpening stones and possible a small bottle of oil to keep the blade from rust. <laughs> okay so let's attach all of these accessories to the figure so this is the hasbro recommended gi joe classified series recondo look so let's do a quick 360 of the figure with all of the accessories attached so the only thing personally speaking or my opinion is going to throw the figure off in design it's going to be this because the machete holder is just way too big as a machete holder and it covers a lot of the thighs of the action figure that you lose the details of the tiger stripe pattern on the pants so i think that this thing is better off the figure and you place it somewhere on possibly the backpack which we are going to figure out right now Okay, so just a little bit of tweaking or modification to Recondo. So first thing that we did was to get rid of the tie-mounted machete and place it on the back of the action figure. But first, I changed the magazine that came with the Mini 14 that's issued by Hasbro, this one to the one that's issued by Action Force Valvers. So it's a perfect fit for this rifle. So look at that. Okay. So as for the thigh mount for the machete, well, it's gone already to the back of the figure. So I got rid of the straps and the extra plastic and glued it to the side skirt of the action figure and it actually looks like it is still mounted onto the pistol belt so it's still actually true to the design of recondo wherein the machete is on the left side but this time it's not on the thigh of the action figure well anyway i also learned to carry my machete in the philippines this way so when i walk around the bush the grass and the branches or whatever that i need to go through it does not rub against my machete and it does not snag on anything so i carry my machete this way and it does not bend the blade and it makes for an easy draw still and actually from this angle it really really looks cool tactical practical okay so let us do another mod which this action figure really reminds me of when i took this out of packaging 
Okay, so this is just an experiment, but if you are a fan of the first Predator movie which stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, then you know who this character is. So the sergeant who does not have time to bleed, Sergeant Blaine Cooper. So I just gave this Srekondo figure a minigun and a ammunition belt. And this is just an experiment, but I could still possibly go further with this modification just with this base figure. So I could change the backpack for a ammunition backpack. And voila, we have a Sergeant Blaine Cooper. And we could actually still add cast members or Predator cast members to the lot. So let's place in one and place in number two. And you already have have half the group of Dutch. <laughs> so we have the figure in a firing stance with the Action Force Valiver's muscle device effect. So and also a Action Force Valiver's magazine for the Mini 14. Okay, so this time Ricardo has to rely on his sidearm for personal defense. So we have the Action Force Valiver's muzzle device effect on the Hasbro issued sidearm for Ricardo. So that is how it looks. So we end our review here. So if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.